Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel, His Love, Her Home, where we talk about all things homeschool, motherhood, and faith. Hey, how you doing? Drop it in the comment. Let me know how you are doing today. I am doing well, one day at a time, mamas, right? One day at a time. So today I am doing a quick update on our Africa unit study. I thought that this unit study was gonna end up being six weeks. When I sat down to start planning it, I was like, whoa, we're gonna really dig into Africa, especially after our first week of doing Africa. And we started really watching YouTube videos and we saw just the beauty of Africa and just, we are loving it. My boys are loving it. And so now we're just going to take our time and whenever we finish this, so uh, it might not be a unit study anymore because it won't just be six weeks. We're going to study Africa until we get through it. And yeah, we're going to enjoy it and just enjoy the journey. The boys are enjoying the stories and I just love that out of all things in my second year of homeschooling that they're really getting to see themselves in the books that they read and the videos that we watch. So yeah, this is our main book that we're using. Um, it's Africa, Amazing Africa, and we're basically following along in here. I'm not necessarily going in any particular order. We are, we just finished Southern Africa. So we're either gonna do East or West Africa next and then move up to Northern Africa. Um, I probably will be doing West Africa because most of the things I got is West, like African stories and stuff like that. So some another book that I did pick up was Africa is Not a Country. And this is a lovely book about Africa that gets the issue of its enormous diversity right. Because Africa is becoming a diverse place. <laughs> so... We are doing some people for our Africa study. Um, so I got Who Was Books, Who Was Nelson Mandela, Who Is Jane Goodwall. Yes, I threw in somebody that wasn't African. <laughs> so as we do each country, my boys are responsible to, I put on a YouTube video and it's cool. There's this, um, youtube channel that actually it's like a thing and it just it moves slow and it draws the african flag so my sons are able to draw and color in the african flag while they're watching that and then we watch another geography video that gives them the capital and maybe some facts about the place and then i usually find a video on the culture or a child from that certain country and we watch that so last time I was saying, oh, I wish I had the book so I could show you. These are the little books that were at Target. They like come in all different colors. So my little ones just, they just threw their little Africa name on the book. And they both have two of them because of course these are not big enough to cover Africa. But basically this is what they've been doing. And this is something that I tell them that it doesn't have to look pretty because this is their free book. As long as they're learning, I'm fine. Now, when we do other subjects like spelling and grammar and things like that, I want them to write neat because I have to check it. So, because this is like their little personal thing and this is not something that I'm grading. Um, I am keeping track that I'm doing it, but I'm not grading it because this is something that they really don't have to learn. And it's just fun for us. We're loving it. We are loving the culture where I'm, I'm falling in love with Africa. Um, two of the people in our family have gotten to 23andMe tests and we know that we are mostly West African. So yeah, we're going to enjoy and dig deep into West African culture more than um, the other ones. So that's how that's going. And our read aloud right now is called the thunder cave um it is a story about a boy named jacob and his father is basically a he works in africa he studies elephants and basically he's staying with his stepdad and his mom and his mom gets hit by a car which is 
for the beginning of the story. It's kind of tragic. <laughs> My kids are like, the story just started. Like, his mom's dead already. Like, so <laughs> just know that there are words in here like hell. When I read aloud, I just fill it in like it's, it was never there, right? <laughs> read them aloud. Right, moms? We just figure it out and skip over it. And, you know, we tend to read a lot of things so you know when I see stuff that I don't necessarily want to say or you know swearing we don't want to do that and um <laughs> so I just skip over it put some new words in there and make it sound like it was already there so I'm not reading them out loud um sometimes I do and I'll just say oh bad words same thing when we watch movies I don't try to hide or limit anything that my children get just because we're christian it's more so like oh okay you saw that let's sit down and have a discussion yeah that's how i do it <laughs> all right so to the library hall because you've probably been waiting for this library hall and i'm sitting here talking so let me stop talking because i can talk okay so the first book is about it's called emmanuel dreams and this is the true story of Emmanuel Yobaha, if I'm saying that right. Um, he cycled 400 miles across Ghana with only one strong leg. You've probably seen this before in the library. But I think my older ones have read this, but I'm just getting it to read again. And uh, this one is another one called Planting Peace because we will be talking about the story of Wangari this coming week and um, digging, starting to dig into Nelson Mandela and her and um, other people of Africa this week. I kind of split up what we did. Some weeks we did African animals and they love learning about African animals and you know, the geography part of learning about the rivers and the falls and the desert and all of that stuff. Um, I just do that depending on what country it's in and do it that way. Our next story is for you are a Kenyan child. This is East Africa, if I'm not mistaken, Kenya. It's about a boy who ventures along and he's like, you know, I love all these things. With so much going on around you, it's just easy to forget what your mama asked you to do. So he's like, he's having so much fun. Fun. I, I forgot what my mother told me to do. So that's that child, that book. The next one is I Lost My Tooth in Africa. And this is about a girl who's hoping when she goes to Africa that her tooth will fall out so she can put it under her pillow and get a chicken back. <laughs> so she's like, please let my tooth fall out. And inside is, of course, the pictures are beautiful. It's a nice, beautiful book. I lost my tooth in Africa. Um, the next one is called The Coming of the Night. This is a Yoruba tale from West Africa. And it reads, long, long ago, when the earth was new, the great river goddess Yomaya sent her daughter Aya to marry a handsome earth chief in the land of the shining day. It goes on to tell you more about the story. I hope I'm saying those names right. <laughs> and this is an example of what it looks like inside. Beautiful pictures. The next one is a little quick read for my third grader, Fat Flat Stanley, The African Safari Discovery. And he goes to Africa with his family and it just talks about all the animals that he gets to see, which is a, it's a nice, sweet book. Next is Off to the Sweet Shores of Africa. This is a book of rhymes. So I got this to throw in. I have been trying to do some African poetry. We read poetry every day. Um, here goes an example I'll read for you. We're marching across the desert sands. We're marching away to distant lands. 
crunch, 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 crunch. At night, we sing and clap our hands and stamp our feet on the golden sands. So yeah, those are cool rhymes. And I'm just going to incorporate. The next one is another. This is a nonfiction Brothers in Hope. The true, the story of the Lost Boys of Sudan. So, yeah. This is about a boy. He was working, tending cattle, and he went home and found his home destroyed. And he ended up running into other boys whose home was destroyed. And they journey, you know in hope that they will find a new home that's that book the next one is called a vacation in a village this is what the inside looks like nice story the next one is called Goal, yay! It's about a boy who got a soccer ball for winning a reading, for winning the reading prize in his class. And it just tells you about the game he played and how they had fun with the ball. And this is what it looks like inside. A very pretty book, very nice book. I just love that I can pop these books open now. <laughs> My first year of homeschooling, read alouds were a little tough. I'm not going to lie to you because it was really new for them, especially my older two. And um, my third grader, I guess he was used to doing circle time in school. But it was a struggle my first year. So now that we're reading our second year and they're just like, all right, let's sit down and read our story. I'm like, wow, like, okay. And my sixth grader cuddles up next to me like love it <laughs> so so priceless right the next one is called boundless sky and this is about a girl who's journeying to africa and about a bird that basically is journeying too so could you ever imagine a bird that you can hold in your hand can fly around the world and back again to you. So this is a nice book. It's very pretty too. So. The next one is stories from West Africa. Most of all, these tales are about West Africa, a land where storytelling was born, where people still gather around to make each other weep with sadness, shiver with fear, or laugh out loud at their amazing stories. It's just stories from West Africa. And it has a different place in there. This is another great book. It is We're Going on a Lion Hunt. This is about two sisters who they're going to find a lion. And, you know, it's funny. They want to go find a lion. But when they actually find the lion, they enjoy the journey of running back home when they actually find the lion. <laughs> So, it's very pretty. Very pretty. So, with two little girls running to find a lion and then running back home because they actually found the lion and saying, okay, we need to leave. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry if I laugh at myself too much. That's just me. Uh, you know, you gotta be you, right? I'm gonna be me. The next book is Anasi and the Box of Secrets. The sky god owns all the stories in the world. He keeps them for himself. But Anasi thinks that the stories should be shared. So he tries to go get these box of stories from him. The next one is Look What Came From Africa. This is a nice book. Just a quick read through. Um, some of these books that have informational stuff like this. Like this has animals. I'll just go in and read it. And, um, you know, if it's something we already covered. It's good because you're kind of re reiterating um, what you do, what you read already. And these are some games that they have in the back. So, uh, games and projects. Uh, it's a page on food. And this book also comes in other um, 
countries they have the united states spain russia greece australia germany mexico so this is a nice book look what a nice quick reading book look what came from africa last book that i got from the library is for me um the whole brain child uh, i am currently reading rhythms of renewal if you have read it moms let me know in the comment because it is such a good book and it's so basic but it is so good it just hits right home but um i have this one the whole brain child i will be sharing all my mama reads um over on instagram so if you want to see them come over there and check them out um yeah that is it for our update on our africa study i am so glad that i decided to do this um in the beginning of our school year before we did dug into our actual history um curriculum we're doing um old freedom if you've heard about it but it's a new newer history curriculum that we're doing this year but i wanted to do africa first because i wanted them to know and see where they come from and you know before we dig into all of that slavery and yeah what we are usually taught first but i don't want to do that so if you do not want to miss more on this channel come on in mamas and hit that subscribe button so we can talk and have fun and laugh together and learn together and journey through this great thing that they call homeschool that we all work so hard to do in our everyday lives all right i will check you next time bye bye now <laughs>